Today, I need to beat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft Hardcore with this guy. Something weird happens and our souls are linked, so if he dies, I die too. Luckily, he can wear any armor type and he can also use Totems of Undying, which is really gonna help. I've also added a data pack called the Creeper's Code, which adds in some little surprises for our adventure. We'll find out what those are later. I actually started this world 11 months ago and last played it seven months ago, but don't worry if you haven't seen it, let me catch you up because I didn't get much done. This is house, this is bread farm, this is iron farm, and this is breeding tube. Don't ask, it's... <laughs> It's necessary, all right? I also made this safe house or prison, as I like to call it, to keep our villager friend safe or to put him there if he misbehaves. Welcome to the present day. I hate it here. <laughs> so I needed a plan. I needed friends. So I started work building a place where people can come and feel relaxed, be part of a humble community, feel safe at all times, and also work solely for me to earn those sweet, sweet emeralds. Welcome to what I like to call the resort. It's got a beach, double bread farm, smoking crystal volcano, random stall with animals, small archery range, and armor station, all of which can be expanded on when these guys get some bread to... You know. With the resort started, it was time to ask the important question. What do you think? You, you like it? Great. Great. Good Good start. Where are you going? Why are you like this? Why do you keep walking away? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> look at him over my shoulder. He definitely wants me dead. Look. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. So? Why did I make the resort? Well, this is my get rich quick emerald making scheme, which will turn me from this into this in no time. Too lazy to mine diamonds like me? Buy them. Haven't got time to farm ender pearls? Buy them. Too lazy to craft diamond tools? Buy them. Sign up today by liking the video and your tutorial will begin straight away. Let's get rich. Basically, I'm training the villagers to make money to buy more things from villagers to save me the real work of Minecraft. Results will not vary. You will get rich. The first villager type I wanted were librarians because they trade paper for emeralds, a really renewable material. However, after a bit of searching, I found out that armorers and weaponsmiths give you diamond armor and also diamond tools when they get to master level, which is crazy. What's even better is that the weaponsmith can trade iron in exchange for emeralds and i have infinite iron thanks to my iron farm which means i've just discovered the infinite money glitch iron goes in emeralds come out the next hour involved me trading copious amounts of coal and buying way too many chainmail helmets from the armorer just to level him up so i could get him to his diamond offering i'm nervous give me something good oh all oh, those boots are fire. I'm breaking three, protection two, feather falling three, absolute heat. Diamond leggings, protection one, bangers. Absolute bangers. Yes. Right, I am going to buy these for sure. Give me a pair of those. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And now we're also going to grab a pair of these for you. Suit up, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are moving up in the world. This right here. Perfect. We're doing well. Leveling up the weaponsmith was easy because of the infinite iron trade. And we ended up getting Ooh. efficiency two diamond axe. I mean, I'll take that over this. It's not got exactly what we need, but it ain't bad. I'm going to buy that. There we go. Thank you, sir. Pleasure doing business with you. A couple more money-making trades later, and I had enough money to buy my villager friend some new shoes. We need to buy you uh, these. Gimme. And then we're going to pop these on you. Enjoy. We get that extra slither. So now you need a chest plate and a helmet, which we should be able to get because he's leveled up. Both. What are the enchantments? I'm breaking three. Nice. That's not so nice, but thank you for your service, sir. I'm going to purchase from you the unbreaking three diamond helmet and also the fire protection one chest plate, which is awful. Okay, we'll get you chest plate. How much is the chest plate? 20? Oh, I can buy it already. All right, let's see if it goes up to full. Come over here. I want to see your armor bar. Come over. Look, follow the beautiful emerald. It'd be cool if we could give them uh, emerald armor, but unfortunately not. Wait, you're still missing something? What are you missing? He was missing the helmet, so I saved up my emeralds and bought it for him. Right, I need uh, this. Thank you, sir. Pleasure doing business with you. So this 
Hey, look at that old bar. Look at that. Shiny, new, fantastic. Come here. Come here. I, I need to do a little test. Come over here. Come here, please. Trust me. I, it shouldn't, if this goes well, shouldn't hurt at all. Ready? Well, that, that didn't go to plan. <laughs> After punching my friend, it was back to business. <laughs> I'm gonna take this guy to the nether fortress with me. Luckily, we had this thing. A cursed compass that only works in the nether and points to your closest nether structure. So, all we had to do was follow it. This is where the whole thing could end. Gold helmet on, otherwise that would have been awful. I did see a ghast over there, but as long as we make it past this point, I think the rest should be fine until we get to the actual fortress. This is the riskiest thing we have done so far. Oh no. All right, let's get him. Let's just get him. Let's just get him. Get out of here. Two? Do not do that either. Holy. <laughs> if I'm pulling my bow, do not walk in front of me. This is why you're so hard to have around. I tried to make the walk to the fortress as easy as possible. With this cutout path and double width bridges, it actually worked out pretty well. We took a little detour to find my cobblestone path and eventually... Ah, we've made it. We have made it. All right, all right, all right. The thing is, I don't really know how to get in. So what are the main issues we have here from going into the nether fortress? We need to avoid flames. That's what's going to get this guy killed. If he catches on fire, yo, that health is going down quick. Let's dig up the side. I feel like that's the safest way, right? Oh, I hear wither skeletons, bro. I already hear him. This is going to be awful. Just be chill. Don't get in the way of my axe. You look very happy to be here, actually which um, also makes me nervous. Here we are. Right, we need to locate blazes and get their rods. Were you coming in? Or are you too scared, buddy? I don't like not having eyes on you. Where, where have you gone? Oh, there you are. Okay, welcome. This is uh, one of the scariest places you can go. I hate uh, every second of it. Oh, diamonds. I completely forgot about diamonds. Let's do some looting first, and then we can get the rest and fight who we come across. Obsidian, diamond. I'm going to take diamond for armor. Just so I've got it. Gonna need some nether wart. Might just cover this over, just in case. You good? You having a... It's like I'm taking someone on a, a field trip. That's what it's like. Oh, there's the blaze spawner. The blaze spawner's right here. Okay, I'm gonna need you to stay probably over here. Because this is about to get wild. Oh, God, there's one right there. Please don't set him on fire. <laughs> I'm gonna be... I, I think we should make a protective wall. The protective wall has been made, just in case. I should have got more arrows, like, definitely. Oh, he set me on fire. He set me on fire. I need to remember I'm in hardcore mode. I need to stop taking so much damage. So that did two hearts and I have fire protection on me. Oh no, here we go. Let's get you. There we go. What does this have? Efficiency two. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. Did I get a blaze rod? I did not get a blaze rod. I hate them so much. Wait, there is actually a blaze rod down here. Let's take it and let's go. We got one. <laughs> Look. Look, I got it. See? You can't be involved in this because this just seems like a terrible idea if I take you over there. Ah! <laughs> okay, you got me there, buddy. Is there an easy way to do this? I don't think there is. Let's get you, sweet. Oh my word, there's so many. There we go. Oh no, he's blocking me in. Gotcha. Gotcha. We've got three. We're doing well. You get caught. You, you're gonna die. Oh god, what are you doing there? Why are you near my friend, huh? What's, what's he ever done to you? You're back up. This is actually a really great way to kill the blazes. Look at this. Right, who's next? Who's coming at me? Oh, no, 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 no. This is where it gets out of hand. This is where it gets out of hand. Stand back. I will protect you. Gotcha. How many have we got now? Five. I just carried on slaying blazes until I almost ran out of food. And eventually, we ended with a total of 15. I think we can work with this. I think that will be fine. So I'm going to release you from your prison. We need uh, soul sands to grow nether wart. So we're going to try and find some of that. I just want to grab some of this. What was that? I had a right to be confused. It turns out the creeper's code data pack added a little buff to the wither skeletons that I had no idea about. They can now wield enchanted bows that set me on fire. Oh no, we need to get out of here. We need to go as quickly as possible. He's got a bow and arrow that can set on fire. That isn't a thing. There's, there's no way that's a thing. Okay, so surprise, that's a thing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is bad, this is bad. Let's go, let's go, I need to eat a golden apple. I'm gonna have to eat a golden apple. I'm gonna have to eat uh... a... Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat a golden apple. Oh, jeez. I did not see the other guy. Right, we have what we need. We're getting out of here. That was a little bit too close and could have gone way worse. At least nothing bad happened on the way back to the resort. We just have to run. Oh, we're not going to be able to do that. Okay, I'm going to have to spot this guy. Are you good? 
Are you good? Oh my, why did I do that? <laughs> Watching this back, I had no idea how lucky I had just been. I was standing on a two wide single block of netherrack. And for some reason, I decided to block the ghast's fire charge with my shield, which blew up the two blocks directly in front of my feet. If I fell or he fell, it's game over. Luckily, the villager just so happened to be a couple blocks behind. So he had no idea it even happened. That was a lucky escape. <laughs> now, the reason I wanted these blaze rods so badly is because I thought of a way to potentially bypass the need for golden apples by using splash potions to heal the villager instead. Let's see how that went. <laughs> blaze rod time. So we need a, for instance, three cobble and I have two. Let's go. Oh, and we got four diamonds. That's good profit because now we can make an enchanting table as well. Bam. Bam. That's what we came for. Let's go. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so now we need to... We need to put some soul sand down, actually. I think we're going to put it... If we can get a little nether tree... I'm going to go and get a nether tree and then put it here so we can have a little uh, nether wart farm going on. I have to go and get some more soul sand when I'm not scared for my life. Grow, my pretties. Grow. Right, we got some testing to do, buddy. I want to make, I mean, I don't know how, but I'm going to make a splash potion of healing and see if that helps him. And it turns out we need a glistering melon. Oh, where did I get these from? They must have been there for ages. Where do I get glistering melon from? I just wanted to quickly fact check where I got these from. And it was from episode two in the original playthrough from a chest next to a ruined portal. That was lucky. Right, we can actually test this then. Right, let's pop three water bottles in there. Let me grab my blaze powders let's just grab half of them for now there we go because eventually we're going to need them for eyes of ender anyway and then we pop in another ward and as well we get to make three at a time which is pretty sick so this is going to brew up real nice that is such a fascinating noise and then we need glycerin melon but we're also going to need this gunpowder to make it a splash one we could double it up we need glowstone dust and i'm pretty sure i've got some at home so let's grab that might as well all right glowstone dust is going in there to double it and then we're going to keep all of our fancy ingredients in here this is god this to see a plan come together after like eight hours of gameplay including building this is oh, it feels so good get ready for the glugs listen for the glugs what a noise What's the noise? And then we'll splash it up. Hey, look at this. Local brewery. Oh, he's happy about it. Look at him. He's like, yo, give me that stuff. He's addicted already. This is not good. Right, I'm going to punch you. How many hearts does this... Um, How many hearts does this entail? It does four hearts. So technically, I should be able to punch him down to 16. And he should be fine. Right, this is going to be the section where we do experiments on this guy. The tables have turned. That's right. You haven't. Got, you're not wearing a white lab coat. I sh should be. I should be wearing the white lab coat right now. It's only going to tickle. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Buddy, no, no, no. Please come back. Please come back. I don't even know if this is going to work. Come over here. Look, I've got emeralds. This is mean. <laughs> He's hiding by there again. I'm so sorry. He's actually taking it like a champ. Right, down to 18. Okay, I feel bad enough. Remember, my life is also in his hands as much as the other way around. Look, come out. I I've got something for you. Here we go. Don't think that worked. It, it definitely didn't work. What if I got you to stand still? Look, stand here. No! This was not ideal. So I tested to see if a fire resistance potion would work because that would still be helpful. Over it, over it, over it. I have emeralds. Both of us are going to get it. The fire resistance works. Something I also didn't notice is that the villager's health did actually go up to 20. So the previous splash potion worked there was just kind of a delay on it this is good news i need to make me an enchanting table all right let's make this madly expensive thing enchanting table we'll only ever make it once we've got to do it it has to be done enchanting table what do we want to do with the enchanting table we need to build something and build something we did i wanted to make a cool space to enchant things and decided to make a man-made moss cave which i actually think turns out pretty good And here it is.
Anyway, what we need to do now is we need to go and get some bookshelves. So I'm going to see. I don't think you have the trade, do you? There's a beginning trade that a librarian can have where you get bookshelves. So instead of me needing silk touch or crafting them normally, because they're kind of expensive with the leather and we don't have the best leather resource right now. Uh, I want to see if I can get these guys to have some babies. And uh, yeah, if you could just do that for me real quick, then we'll be on our way. Oh, oh it's happening. It's happening. Listen. <laughs> Wait, here he is. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Welcome to the world. This beautiful moment got even better. Oh, we got twins. Ah, the miracle of life. <laughs> While I waited for this guy to mature, I also found out that toolsmiths have the infinite iron to emerald trade, as well as providing enchanted diamond pickaxes at master level. So I thought, hey, let's build our new guy a place to stay. And there it is. It ain't finished yet. I need to finish terraforming this, but I want to get the villagers over here because they are fully grown up. What I want to do actually is take this blast furnace out quick because I want him to go over there. I'm afraid this is, uh, I'm going to have to get my shield out because I'm going to have to, I have to kill you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Do I need to, no, this is, no one look, nobody look at me, please. <laughs> Nothing happened. I did it for the leather, and he was a, uh, a threat to our society. That, that's what happened. All right, let's go get the newbie. So we need another librarian who gives us bookshelves, because that's going to give us our enchanting table. Uh, who's coming out first? One of you's got to come with me. Don't, don't look back at where you, uh, where you were born. It's fine. We're going to a better place. Look. Look yonder. Look at this. It's fully fledged. It kind of looks busy i love it way better than that vending machine that i built jeez all right here we go let's see where he ends up going um where are you going this way there's a leg turn this way buddy where are you going the barrel i forgot about the barrel no to the barrels we say no to barrels stop leg turns this way sir <laughs> why do they want to be fishermen so badly look at him parkour i don't believe he's done this are you joking how have you managed to get up there get in the minecart get in the minecart get in the minecart Yes, look. Oh, yeah, that's perfect, bro. Look at him. Now we just need to protect you from the elements. I can't remember where I put everything. We need uh this. We need small carpet like this. And then that. Hey, don't have the right trade. It's fine. It, it's okay. It's it. We're just going to reset you. Looting two and a bookshelf. That is fire. <laughs> This is the man we need right here. I'm going to buy a bookshelf from you, buddy. That's right. And that is the trade locked in. So we have a new librarian, which is great. And we're going to put the bookshelf down here. And this is where it's going to go. See, that looks so much better already. And now we need to get our blacks. No, our toolsmith instead down here and see what he's going to give us. All right. Hopefully this guy is going to run straight over to the tent. Right where I need you to be. Oh, ma, you're my favorite so far. Look at that. Ah, he's like, wait, hold on. You're a toolsmith. Oh, hold up. This is this is not what I was expecting. The creeper's code has come into effect and offered different trades. Let's see what we can get from you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a mending iron ring. Right, I'm going to keep this guy around. We need coal and I think I'm just going to buy this to lock it in. Cool. And hopefully you will have the iron trade as well later on. I tell you what, this place is looking pretty fire. I don't need this bed anymore, so I'm going to carry it with me because I can just sleep here if I need to. We have 66 emeralds. That's kind of crazy. And as long as I finish the terraforming over there with the extra sand, this place is looking awesome. It's starting to get filled up real quick. And now we can buy our bookshelves. This is crazy. It's almost going too well. I don't like it. Time to fill this up and get ourselves some enchantments. Trading definitely wasn't the best way to make bookshelves, and I discovered that way too late. But over 100 emeralds later, I finally had my maxed out enchanting table. <laughs> Bam, bam, beautiful. Can we get to level 30? We can. I'm breaking three with a question mark. I guess we need like a lapis chest as well. We have some lapis somewhere. The plan is all coming together. 
Oh, I bought coal to trade as well. Yeah, with these, this guy. Why does the other two smith take like so many? There we go. You are up to max. What are you going to give me next? I want to see. It's... Yeah, he's got the iron trade. Let's go. Money, 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 money. Time to see what this guy gives us. So hopefully we can get as much from him to level him up. There we go. What you going to get next? I think Is it all next? Maybe. Huh? Ooh, efficiency one iron shovel ain't bad and he's reduced his price on this as well give me as much as you've got right, that's 12 almost up to a stack again that's crazy i'm gonna spend on the shovel just to get him up to another level so let's grab one of those and put our normal shovel over here this is kind of like a storage at the moment you know what he's put his price up you are unacceptable, sir. This is only two now, though, so I'm going to grab another one of those. We've got two efficiency shovels, just in case one of them breaks. Now he should get his diamond tool. Oh, efficiency two, fortune one, unbreaking two. Oh, my God, that's insane. It's not the kind of tool that I wanted, but at least you've got the uh, the iron trade and stuff. Here, give me this. <laughs> Oh, look at all this money, 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 sweet money. I'm like Mr. Krabs right now. Wait, why are you still purple? Oh, he's got a Fortune 1 pick as well. He went up to Master. I'm going to buy this right here. Efficiency, Fortune, and Unbreaking. Actually, maybe we should just buy this because I need a new diamond pickaxe anyway because we can enchant this one and find out. Uh, Now I'm up to this. I kind of don't need it unless I'm going to enchant books. Let's add that in there. That's going to be Unbreaking 3 and something else. And I only have two diamonds. So that's why we're buying things because we are... We are cheapskates. All right, I've come to purchase a Fortune 1 pickaxe. Gimme. I now need a book and 16 emeralds to make that. Okay, okay, I could do this. Let's get this Fortune going. Uh, Fortune 1. Don't mind if I do. And now we can combine these in an anvil, which just happens to be over here. Uh, right here. To make a Fortune 2. Oh, we got the opportunity to name it. What do we name this glorious pickaxe? Oh, the pressure. I need to think. kind of want to call it Craig. I, I don't know why. I'm going to call it Craig with two dots after. Maybe three. I'm going to call it Craig. <laughs> Welcome, Craig. <laughs> now, there was only one more villager we needed. A cleric. This one would be able to live in the Amethyst Volcano because his particular workstation is a brewing stand. And one of his trades is emeralds to ender pearls. Exactly what we need to find our stronghold. Just before I did that, I did try out just slaying Enderman in the nether. It didn't go too well. Oh, there is an Enderman up there. Oh, I looked at him. I looked at him. Oh, no. I'm scared. <laughs> Genuinely scared. Terrified. We got this. We got this. I just need to not hit the wrong person. If you could stop getting my vicinity, please. Hey, no. Ender pearl. None at all. Why are you watching? It's weird. All right, I'm going to go for this guy. Oh, oh, God. Got him. Got him. I'm not even going to try. Yeah, I should probably try jumping. You dropped nothing. This is just not going to work. It's because I've got fortune. And I haven't got looting or anything. So I haven't got looting swords, right? This is this is bad. This is awful. We need to trade instead. Uh, another challenger approaches, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better be better than the, the nether endermans. You're a little bit more aggressive, actually. Why are you going over there? You scared? I would be. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> Wait, never mind. I didn't mean it. Oh, God, he's come back. Yes. <laughs> Yo, my shield broke way too quickly. All right, we need to we need to sleep. I got a bed. I have. We're gonna sleep on this beach here today. Where are you? You know, don't even care. I'm just sleeping. Well, that was terrifying. Yeah, I didn't know. What I was thinking. Let's try out our new enchanting table. <laughs> Let's try a bow and see what we can get on this thing because that's one of the things we're gonna need to go to the end. I'm breaking three. Uh, do we try it? I guess we can try it. I kind of would rather have a fresh one though, which is where you come in. Give me a fresh bow. Thank you, sir. Infinity would be dope as well. Right. I'm breaking three. Let's grab some lapis. Let's at least use the enchanting table that we created this massive hole for. Here we go. Flame, punch, and unbreaking. Okay. That's not bad. We got flame. Ooh. I might enchant another one. So if I could just purchase another from you. Thank you. Let's see what we can get from this. Oh, infinity. Yeah, we're gonna have to grab that. It's literally just infinity, though. The problem is, I don't think we can combine both of these. It just doesn't work that way, does it? Bam, bam. Flame. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It does. Flame, punch, infinity, and I'm breaking three. This is decent, though. 
What do we call this? Hmm. I'm going to call it Pwiff because punch, unbreaking infinity flame. It's called Pwiff. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> but we now got Infinity, which is dope. Let's go with Flamers. Oh, no. Oh, I should have done that. Yeah, I should not have done that. That Axolotl could have been in danger. Holy. The Axolotl survived, but our villagers had other plans. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, God. Oh, what the? Why, uh, why are our villagers spontaneously combusting? I'm blaming you. You get way too close to these guys and starting to just, like, combust them. I don't know why. Jealousy? Maybe. It's getting real intense over there. I feel like I'm making a, like, a Big Brother episode on just villagers. Oh, you know when people go away and they live with tigers or bears or wolves or, or something like that? I feel like that's me right now, but with villagers, and I'm analyzing their every behavior. <laughs> Not only were they spontaneously combusting, but our particular pet villager was getting seriously out of hand. Entrance. There's, there's no way you just did that, right? He smacked the little villager that was going to be our cleric. Uh, like, what? Why? Come here. Come with me. Leave the child alone. Let's go. Get in. Now, you, you stay in there and think about what you've done. Child. Oh, God, I've fallen down. Double look in this because, yeah, he can't be let out for a little bit. <laughs> We're going to have to make another jail. I think we should make one. Oh, he's grown up. Never mind. Everything has a happy ending. Right. Hopefully, he will go straight to the cleric Th this way or this way. No, please. Look, there's a there's a brewing stand in there for you. I'm not your enemy right now. In, in the thing. In the thing. In the thing. No. Yes, sir. You weren't going to escape me that easy. Now come in here. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why the uh, minecart is moving so slow, but uh, you're coming in, whether you like it or not. Okay, now we have the issue of some villagers just don't like having their job unless they can actually touch it. Do you, do you not want this? Is, this? is this not what you want? You want a bed as well? Is that what you want too? You can have one of those. This is your house now. Hey, that's what he wanted. What are you trading for? Rotten flesh and emeralds for redstone dust. That's decent, actually. But we need to get him to expert. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get in here, I'm afraid. So yeah, I'm gonna keep you in the back there because why not? Right, we're gonna buy some redstone dust. Oh man, I need to get him up to master. And he has to be, let's get some light in here. He has to be the ender pearl variety. So this is oh, you're training for lapis? Okay. Gold as well. Dope. Right, I've only got 20 gold. Okay, that's a decent amount, though. Man, I don't want to spend that much gold. That's a lot of gold. But we can use the profits to buy lapis. Oh, my brain is huge. So, Apprentice is up to journeyman. So, four emeralds for some glowstone. You know, we've got the money. We've got the money to do it. It's the next one. Please, please have it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to fire you and you... You know what that means. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Let's go. You're a legend. Oh, I can't believe that just worked straight away. That's ridiculous. So how many ender pearls can we buy from you? Oh, there are five. Oh, you are a, you're a gent. You're an absolute gent. Look at him. Look at the size of his nose. I'm just going to kind of buy him out of this, I think. Yeah, there we go. 13. Beautiful. Oh, man. That's one of the best trades we've done so far. What? So everything was almost ready to go, and we needed to find our stronghold. But first, we needed to release our offender. <laughs> That sounds weird. Have you thought about your actions? Have you thought about what you did? That baby that you hit. Hey, listen to me. That baby you hit is now turned into an absolute beast of a cleric. So you better be happy with yourself. We're going to the stronghold, buddy. Yeah. Right then, let's craft one. Holy. Eye of Ender. So going into a stronghold with this guy is going to be just awful. I already know it. Where are we going? We're going this way. To the stronghold. What are we saying, Eye of Ender? Still going forward. Don't break. Don't be that guy. What? <laughs> no way. It's a good job I could buy these things. This is some kind of joke. Here we go. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Nah. This this can't be real, right? This, this cannot be real. It's breaking every time. I don't even know what to say. I'm just... I'm fuming. <laughs> I just have a feeling that they're just going to blow up every time. Oh, yes. We were just really unlucky before. That's that's almost more annoying. <laughs> so it's kind of this way. Let's go. Where are we heading next? Oh, it's back here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fall down there. Please don't fall down there. 
Gotcha. Jeez, we're close. And it's not that far away from our house either. Is there a cave or anything nearby? I don't... I mean, I don't think there is. I think we're just going to have to dig down, which obviously is a terrible idea. But if we do it safely, I think we'll be OK. <laughs> I was trying to find my villager. It turns out he has actually found somewhere underneath. That's good going, actually. Good job. Oh, we have. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you going that way? Why are you going straight in? Oh, God, he's an idiot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I need to teleport. Yes. The lucky teleport. That zombie was coming for you. You don't even care. You're going to give me an aneurysm. Right. Let me just go and check that the coast is clear and then you can come with. The coast is most definitely unclear. I'm hoping we kind of just find it, but I don't think that's going to happen, is it? Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, where did you come from? Oh, you okay? 18 health. Hey, that diamond armor coming in handy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that was scary. Are you just coming down? Okay, I, I still haven't found it. I, I did find an amethyst, though. So I accidentally found this. It sounds like there might be a few nasties in here. Yep, there we go. Whoa, no, why would you do that? Come here, come here right now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, he's getting attacked. He's getting attacked this way. Oh, okay. You need to... Yeah, come here. Come here. Oh, my. This is so dangerous. Why is this so bad? Okay, we need to uh, we need to fatten you up. Take this uh, golden apple. Why would you teleport into that block, you dummy? Okay, let's uh, assess the situation. It was a single zombie, was it? Oh, my God. Don't look at me like that, please. You make... <laughs> Stop. I might throw another one of these just to make sure. Because if it doesn't break, then we can use it anyway for the actual portal. But I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, where did it go? Did it go this way? Like down here? It certainly didn't go up, did it? Oh, wait, it did go up. Hold on. Have I been looking in the wrong place this whole time? Thinking it actually went down when it didn't? Yep. Yes, I have. <laughs> okay, it's really close, though. Oh, my God, it broke again. I've only got seven. I've got no blaze powder left. Oh, no. It's definitely over this kind of way in this direction. Then I got kind of lucky. I knew the approximate area where the stronghold was going to be. So I dug down, found a glow squid pond, and... There it was. Oh. Oh. It's right here. I made it. I found it. Okay, sweet. It's right near these glow squids. I don't like you, but since you're right next to the uh, in the old stronghold, don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, there you go. Uh, what's it like down there? <laughs> Yo, we found it. I think it might be worth actually having some water flow down there so we can get back up. But this is going to be an awful experience. Did you see all the nasties down there, bro? I might have to clear the area. I can see a zombie down there. With my, you can see me as well. How do you see me from up here? Oh, wait, there's rooms up here. Hold on. It's like a multi-layer one. This is weird. Look, check this out. So this is a room <laughs> that goes to here. Oh, my God. Look at the caliber of mobs down there. Okay, that is less good. Just blow it. Whoa! I don't like creepers coming that close to my face, even if you're dead. Yes, I found it. I found the room. Right, we need to go back and collect our boy. Are you good? Thing is, it's safe-ish to send him to just stay where he is. But at the same time, if a mob spawns on him, then that's game over. Because I can't get back to him quick enough. Right, I'm going to quickly see how many ender pearls we need. And then I'm going to come straight back. Let's leave a trail. So we need to go here and then through here and then here, here here and we've made it so we need one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah nine pearls and then we're good to go all right our job is done here buddy let's get out of here home sweet home J jeez you've been busy how many pairs of feet are in there three oh my goodness okay more for the resort that's what i'm talking about how's everyone doing what held down oh we've got news fellas we've got news we're going to the end <laughs> actually this wasn't exactly true. It dawned on me that this Ender Dragon fight was going to be much trickier than anticipated. So I wanted to have a backup plan just in case these splash potions weren't enough. I wanted the good stuff. The totems of undying. Now, I wasn't quite ready to revisit my past and build an infinite totem farm. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got too close. I got too close. I got too close. Oh, no.
Ugh. But I did know that we had an Illager outpost nearby to the north. So we made our way over to get that omen. Do we just roll up? I feel like we do. We're just going to roll up over there and start attacking. We're looking for the bannered ones, remember? All you need, really need for a raid is a decent bow and some high ground, and then you're good. So hopefully that will be our saving grace. But I am, oh, Jesus, so many of them already. Look at them. We can just keep shooting them from here and wait until the banner man turns up. Oh, look at them. Look at them all coming at me, thinking they're okay. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's quite a lot of these, isn't there? Oh, my God, there's lots. I'm not seeing any banner guys. The thing is, well, I think we need to kill the banner guy with an axe. Otherwise, the bad omen will not come into effect. It is a good job that we have infinity on these things. Right, that is that done. Right, I'm going to go and quickly grab up all this loot before they kill me. Oh, they are diving in. Quick, go, 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 go. <gasps> go! You need to you need to leave. You need to leave instantly. They are definitely attacking you. Oh, there's a banner man. The banner man's right there. You know what? I need you to stay over here. I hate doing this, but you need to stay here. You're getting shot. They are shooting you. Right. I need a banner man back, please. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. I need your banner man. Where's your banner man at? Hey, at least Pwiff is uh proving to be quite the bow. When we get to the ender dragon, I feel like Pwiff is gonna come through, you know. Right, I'm coming in. I'm coming to see what epic loot you have. What you got up here? You better have something good. That's not good. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Here's big man. What's up, buddy? What's up? Oh, I need him to not die by fire. He can't die by fire. Yes. Okay, we've got it. We've got the bad omen. This is uh, obviously bad. Okay, hopefully uh, my boy is not scared of me because, um, yeah, he probably can sniff the bad omen on me, can't he? Hey, do I smell different? Smell me. Do I smell different? No? Okay. Um fine i'm pretty sure he could smell it anyway i knew there was another village across the ocean from my house so i went there to get this raid started was this my worst idea so far here we go it's raid time oh god right i kind of need you to get up on one of these houses i think and i might just stick him there all right come here come up come up they're ringing the bell come up here you're just staying down there look you just like to be part of the ruckus you're chucking seeds where are they coming from over here Oh, God. Oh, what? Well, you're aggravating them as well. You want to be part of the raid. You're a psycho. Why are you running towards them? Why are you doing this? If I shoot you with an arrow, it's going to hurt. It's going to really hit you. You run inside, buddy. <laughs> In comes the golem. The golem will help us. But I think staying up top here is the best strategy. What you do? Oh, God. He's like merged with them. Well, come over here. Okay. Uh, I'll let uh, you deal with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. You need to stay out of the way of the iron golem as well. Jeez, man. Okay. This is awful. My plan to do the raid in a hilly village was paying off. The waves of illagers either spawned at the top of the mountain and took full damage or they spawned at the bottom and I just bowed them to death. That was until this spawned in. Oh, God. Look at these guys. There's an isolager down there. There's actually an isolager. Okay, he's part of the raids too, huh? So that's part of the creeper's code, I think. I kind of don't want to see what he does, just because it could be very dangerous. Right, out of all of these, the witches have got to go, because they help their friends a little bit too much. Bye-bye, witchies. Bye-bye. Well, these witches are an issue right now. They are self-healing, and it's unacceptable behavior. Let's go and see what this isolager is all about. How are you doing, lads? What do you do? What are you up to? Ow! Oh my god, okay. Yep, he's crushing me. He is crushing me with ice. Holy, you're a psychopath. An actual psychopath. Well, this is doing a lot of damage. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Wait a second. He's like a run away from you, right? I am definitely just going to destroy you. There you go. Cold as ice. Now it's time to get serious. Here come the evokers and the vexes. Wish me luck. Yo, what is that? Okay, we do have the guys that we need to be wary of. Oh, no, there's vexes. There's vexes already. Oh, God. All right, you're going to have to go, buddy. I don't like you. Where's the guy we've got to worry about? Stop taking down the tree. Stop it. Yes, 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 yes. The iron golem is on our side. All right, this is the guy we've got to look out for. Get him. Get him right now. Oh, he's gone down there. That's so annoying because he can still summon vexes from down there. These guys are quick, man. All right, can I pop any vexes from here? Because they are seriously worrying me. Oh, look, he's getting them. This... Oh, he's a king. An absolute king. Bro, if you survive, you're getting a knighthood from me. A full-on knighthood. If I get rid of this, I should be able to heal him. No absolutely not stop you are my savior take this take all of the iron i can give you one absolute legend holy yes we got one this is exactly what we needed right we do not need uh seeds why is someone giving me seeds all right you can go because you just keep putting ice on me and it's not fair i don't know what this guy is but he needs to die immediately goodbye 
Oh, God. I'm down here with him. This is bad. I think he's affecting me with slowness as well. Like, he slows you down and then drops ice on your head. But right, he's not part of the raid, so we need to find someone else. Do you see him anywhere? Anywhere at all? You've seen an illager around here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're unstable as well. Oh, here you are. You missed the party, buddy. It's all over for now. There we go. And surprisingly, the rest of the waves went pretty well. Right, I need to get the guys who matter. This guy. You need to go. Oh, this is easy mode. Easy, easy mode. Oh, no. Don't summon him. Yes! Oh, you dummy. Oh, wait. There's a witch's hat. That's really good. That's from the creeper's code as well. Oh, I'm hearing weirdness right now. All right, you need to just disappear, please. There we go. That's done. I'm going to go and get this witch's hat. Ow! Are you serious? No, if I die to a... If I die to one of those... If I die to a puffer fish, your boy is going to be mad. I mean, a witch's hat. This should allow us to trade with witches when we get the chance. What do you think you're doing then, huh? All right, totem one. So that is three totems in total. Did I miss a totem? Oh, I did. Yes. These puffer fish are making me uh, a little bit scared. This was so worth it. So worth it. She's throwing stuff at me. No, no, puffer fish. God, why the puffer fish so scary? I am not dying to a puffer fish in hardcore mode. If I die to a puffer fish in hardcore mode, remember I say this? I will delete my channel. My entire channel is gone if I die to a puffer fish. Look, there it is. Right there. Yes, that, it's coming for me. Where's this witch? There she is. No, don't, don't be doing that. Stop it. There we go. Hey, we did it. Hey. And our villager is definitely alive because we are not dead. This is great. We we came out of that with a serious bag. <gasps> There's fireworks, buddy. Welcome. I did it. And most of you are alive, to be fair. But most importantly, my boy is alive. Thank God for that. And my man over here, he has to stay alive forever. Let me try on my witch's hat. I want to try that too. Let's have a look. So if we find um, another witch, I don't know if it works if you do it through these raids. If we find one in a, um, in a witch's hut, and wear this we can trade with them which is really cool but for now it's just the headgear we have one two three four totems of undying is that gonna be enough for an ender dragon i'm kind of hoping so let's get back to home we leave victorious All right it's now your time take this hey look at that so now i kind of want to test it kind of want to test it but i'm not going to because I think if we have three, I think I can survive the ender dragon as long as he doesn't throw me in the air. But I have a bucket of water, but you, you're going to have some issues. But even if those issues arise, we should be okay. Over the next hour or so, I got together our kit to beat the ender dragon. We had four totems of undying in hand. I then brewed about 10 splash potions of healing and some regeneration. Revisited the nether to get some more gold so that I could make as many golden apples as possible, which wasn't without its own dangers. This is why I don't take you places. This way. Oh, God, it's one of these as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Where's your mum? Leave me alone. This way. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way, please. Oh, my God. Why? This earned him another trip to the prison. I also found some time to trick shot a ghast. Yep, yep, that's what's up. That's what's up. Did you give me a ghast here? Yeah, you did as well. Let's go. Another purple achievement. <laughs> I totally didn't forget to bring an arrow. That's not what happened. But now it's time for the final battle. And I think we're prepared. Hey, buddy, it's time to go. Why are you always saying no to me? It's time to go. We need to go. We need to go to the stronghold. This is your moment to shine. How do you feel about that? Every time. Every time you disagree. Every time. We must head yonder. Yonder the portal and to meet our destiny. From one humble little house to the resort to these guys who built single-handedly, rubbed their noses together and built the resort. Now it's me and you, buddy. Me, you and four totems, all right? <laughs> Let's go. It's time to meet the dragon. Are you ready? Well, you've got no choice, really. Oh, God. Why one of these? Why one of these? These are one of the worst things to come across. Because you're definitely going to walk into it. Oh! Okay, okay, that's uh, just a minor inconvenience. Let's go to the stronghold and hopefully nothing bad happens. I've still got to get rid of the, um, what are they called? Silverfish? Got to get rid of those. I haven't done a Ender Dragon boss battle in a hot minute, so hopefully this goes okay. <laughs> are you coming down? Don't be scared, buddy. Come on. I, no, 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 no. Don't go back up. Come on now. What's the worst that could happen? You've got a totem now. You're big boss, man. All right, let's go this way. Follow the dirt blocks. Follow the dirt blocks. Welcome to a stronghold. Possibly one of the worst places you could ever set foot in. If you don't behave, 
like what you're doing now yeah it's a wonderful fountain um but you're going in one of these i will put you in a prison cell all right let's make sure that the coast is clear i want to make sure i don't have too much like rubbish in my inventory but we need to go yeah this way we've made it welcome welcome yourself let's go ahead and pop these in oh! <laughs> okay yeah 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 i might be um i might be a big detriment to this mission also oh my god all right one two three four five six seven eight nine Oh, what was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You almost knocked me in. Stop that. All right, let's get rid of this. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Okay, that was kind of wild. Right, we need to figure out how to get you through. What were you doing? Come over here. I know. I know it's nerve wracking. But to be honest, it's probably worse for you here. There's lots of nasty things that can be about. Right. Follow me, sir. I know you can't, um, you can't deny the beautiful look of an emerald. Uh, let's go. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I am I'm worried. I'm very worried this way this way. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be Absolutely fine. Um, is it though? I don't really know get in there. Woo! Oh, he's gone 360 Okay, let's see what the end is giving us Oh, this is actually a good start. This isn't bad, you know? This isn't bad. Right, this might be a time to test out our regeneration. However, it's only got 22 seconds on it, which isn't great. Oh, buddy, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Which way is the ender dragon, do you think? Are we thinking this way? This is our time to shine. This is our time to take down the ender dragon and return a hero. Oh, God, we're here. I'm going to try and take this out straight away. Don't mind me. Oh, my. oh, that was almost first try as well. What was that? No, 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 no. Where are you going? No, please, please don't do this. He's gone straight up there. He has no fear whatsoever. Okay, I got it. <laughs> right there. Hello, everyone. Just casually walking around. Don't mind us. We're okay. Oh, he's perching already. This is actually good. All right, I need to get straight under here and shoot this right through here. There we go. He's coming for us. Ow. Did he hit you? 19 damage. That's not too bad. Okay. I've just remembered as well. My guy has dragon breath. Dragon breath is actually worrying because if the villager gets stuck in dragon breath, I'm not quite sure how we're going to, how we're going to solve that. Oh no, that did not just happen. Yes. Progress. Right. That's two. Uh, oh no, that's dragon breath. That is dragon breath. Right. This one's easy. Let's get that one. Let's avoid any enderman stairs. Are you good? 19 damage. Perfect. I just need to listen out for his damage hurts. Okay. Dragon's over there. Run, 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 run. We just need to keep moving, I think. Oh, he's made people mad already. You have no fans in the end. This is your place and you have no fans. All right. There we go. Can we get this one from here? He's hovering around it like, oh, got him. Got him. Okay. This is actually going well so far. The only thing is I don't know how to keep track of how many I have exploded. We've definitely done that caged one. There's we've done that one. We've done that one. There is one here. Are we okay? Why are you just stop? Ah, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop. This is an emergency. Stop this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought. I can't stand still for long, though, because the ender dragon's going to come for me. Why did I look backwards? Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. I need you to die. You're more of a problem than the ender dragon right now. Ow, ow, ow. I need to go. I need to go. Stop hurting me. Stay out the dragon breath. Stay out the dragon breath, please. Are you good? Okay, that seemed... A, I probably panicked a little bit there. Just a little bit. I need my water back. And there's dragon breath all over it. Does the dragon breath fade or is it just going to stay there? It seems like it's just going to stay there. Give me my water back, buddy. That's my get out of jail card. Okay, no more staring at Enderman. It's just these crystals. As soon as these crystals are gone, we should be fine. Let's get rid of... Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, I almost got launched. Buddy, are you okay? Oh god, he's getting flattened. Go, 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 go. 18 health. Hey, you're bossing this. You're bossing this. I need to get this tall one. I just need some time. Oh, I got it. I actually got it. Yes. How many is left? I need to keep track of where he's healing. Hey, where's my villager? Where is he? Look at him. He has no cares in the world. I love it. <laughs> I've lost track of how many we've done now. Oh, oh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. He got up. He is doing okay. This diamond armor is destroying right now. It's doing so well. All right, he is healing from up there. If we can get this, that'd be a massive win. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, no, no, no. Don't dragon breath us. Please don't dragon breath us. How are you up to 20 health? How did that happen? What are you affected by? <laughs> what? Oh, God, here he comes. 
18. You're back down to 18. How did he have a potion effect? It took me way too long to realize he had, in fact, used his totem. Looking back, he had teleported at the exact moment that a ball of dragon breath was coming his way. So he got stuck right in the center of it. Luckily, he teleported back to me just as he used his totem. But man, dragon breath was definitely our biggest problem here. Right, take this. That's why he had the potion effect. He died. He died. Oh my God. Okay, we need to have these on deck. Are you kidding me? Oh no, no, no. Stop. MLG, MLG. I'm insane. I'm insane. I could do it. I knew I could do it. How you doing, buddy? You good? You've been on the brink of death and back. How does it feel? Dude, I'm nervous. Is he even healing anymore? I don't know. No, no, no. Are you good? Oh, he's on two health. He's on two health. All right, take that. And then take this, and then take that. Boom! Oh, we got the strats. That dragon breath is killer. He hasn't healed so far. I think this might be the final fight. I think this is it. Oh, that dragon breath is going to be a pain. No, 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 don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Two health again? Yeah, that's really messing you up, huh? Take that, and then let's try regen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We need to keep moving. We were getting to about halfway through all of our healing options, but only a slither of health had gone from the dragon. This could be close. Oh, oh, these are shots. These are shots. These are the ones we need. And he didn't even attack us either. I think we've got all the crystals. He is not healed. And I feel like he would have healed by now. Oh no, he's perching, he's perching. Yes, this is beautiful. Okay, right, we need to be careful here. Enderman, no. I will not look you in the eyes. Oh, I feel like I'm so slow. 11. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, let's splash and heal. Oh, that did. Yeah, I did 20. Sweet. Right, we are down to about halfway. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. You know, what? it would really help if my bow had power instead of punch. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Oh, that's 13 damage. Oh, God. Might have to use a totem here, buddy. Just saying. You've definitely got one. These are good shots. Yes. Absolutely yes. Okay, good. Let's just move, because otherwise we're going to lose uh, hit points, and we do not want to do that. Wait for the uh, the perch. Oh, no. That's right at me. Buddy, no. Buddy, no. This way. This way. Teleport. He's on one health. I think it's better if he just uses the totem at this point. Is it? Oh, God, I don't know. One HP. I got to trust the totem. It has to happen. Problem is, he launches right at you afterwards. Oh, God. Did he die? Yeah, he did. He had to use his totem. All right, totem time. There you go. You got this, buddy. You got this. Don't worry. Our healing strategies were working, and the dragon only had about 30% of its health left. Could we do this? This is this is crazy. He's so low. Here we go. 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 Yes! Oh my god, you almost died at the end. Let's go! Oh my god, we did it! Yes! Yes! I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We've done it. Oh my god, lap it up. Yo, come over here. We need a celebratory high five. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, we did it. Splash potions came in clutch. What else did we use? Uh, seven splash, eight splash potions. I don't even know how many apples, but look what a sweet, sweet experience. Yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. It's time to get out of here. It's time for the end poem. You haven't seen the end poem before getting there. Uh, <laughs> oh, we out. See you later.
Oh my god, I can't believe it. As the end poem graced the screen, after over 12 hours of gameplay, I had finally completed the hardest Minecraft hardcore challenge I had attempted so far. But our trip wasn't without one loss to the team. We've returned home a hero. Oh my god, we returned with 74 levels. Everyone good? Everyone hold down the fort down here? Oh, I'm hearing... No, no, this isn't good. No, stop that. Get out of here. Oh, no. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do with this guy? We've lost. We're, we're one member down. At least he, he wasn't really that important. How do you heal a, 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 a villager like this? I can't remember. Well, we only lost one. That wasn't too bad. We'll heal him at some point. But that is the challenge done. What's next? the wither i guess if you're interested in watching the entire challenge in let's play format from beginning to end still edited but way more casual then check it out in the description below i've uploaded it to my live channel for all of you to enjoy it has some really funny moments in it that didn't make the final video here so go and check that out thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're brand new and i'll see you in the next one all right see ya